Hi, this is Scoggin, and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a Surf and Turf My Way video, and I've had a lot of requests for this uh, video, and I decided I'm going to do do one. Uh, uh, Texas, the Texas Tech Red Raider, my my team is playing Louisiana Tech uh, today or this this evening. And they're fixing to get started here in, in a little bit. And I'm going to watch that game. I'm going to watch Tech just run all over them. Uh, but anyway, I thought, uh, well, Mrs. Coggins said, well, why don't you do a surf and turf? Uh, surf and turf, uh, like the turf, like football. And I said, oh, I get it. I get it. But that's not uh, the reason behind it is I had a lot of requests for, for this video. Uh, what I'm going to uh, be making is I'm going to be making... Uh, Texas Wildcott Gulf Shrimp, and I'm going to put them on a skewer, marinate them, then I'm going to grill them up. And I'm um, also going to have a, a porterhouse steak, and I'm going to have a video and show you how, how I make that. And I'm going to be using, instead of hickory, uh, today I'm going to be using mesquite wood on the grill and I'm going to do this on the Weber. So I'm going to have, uh, like I say, I'll have several parts to this. But this part one is the shrimp. And I'll, I'm going, what I'm going to do is show you uh, how to go how, uh, about uh, preparing it, like how to shell it, how to devein it, and we're going to go from there. But what I've got is I've got uh, the Texas Gulf shrimp. And these are thawed out, and this is a jumbo one. Uh, I usually don't devein them. Uh, it's a matter of preference. Some people will say, oh, you didn't devein it. You didn't devein it. Da, da, da. Uh, I don't, uh, I've ate them, I ate them non-devein. I've ate them devein, and I, I'm not dead yet. So there you go. But I'm going to go ahead and devein them uh, just to make them, clean them up, and kind of make them look a little little uh, pretty on the, on the grill when I'm grilling it up. I'm going to show you how to go about domain them. What, what the shrimp's got is it's got a sand vein in the back. And you can see it. Uh, it's darker color there. You can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. And hopefully it'll be close enough where I can get, get to it. What I've got is, I've got some water, just plain water here. And you can see the sand vein on, on the, let me get. It's that little, little piece right there. And what I'm using to pick it out with is just one of these toothpicks. You know, you buy these and Mrs. Coggett, uh uses them and, and uh, I found out these are excellent for deveining the, the, fit, uh, the shrimp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to take the, the shrimp. I'm just going to go ahead and shell it. Just like this. And you can get a better view of the sand vein this way. Because you can see it's real dark there. And what I'm going to do is I, I like to leave this uh, tail on. I think whenever it's grilling up, it just it just makes it look real really neat. Then what I do is I just take the uh, toothpick and just go down the back, just like this. And you can see it right there. You can see the sand vein. Then you just pull it out. Go ahead and wipe my fingers off because this this is kind of kind of messy here when you get to doing this. And you just pull the sand vein out of there because I got it right there. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and wash this off. And get me a paper towel. And you want to lay them on the, the shrimp on the paper towel, and you want to just pat it dry.
just like that. So you got a nice clean Devane sh uh, shrimp right there and I'm going to put them on the skewer and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to marinate this. Now I'll go ahead and move this back where you can see the see the shrimp. And what I've done is I've uh, went ahead and put them on the skewer and I'm uh, putting six uh, to a skewer. And all what you do is just put them, I got wooden skewers here, and you just put them on just like this, kind of spread them out. Well, that one didn't get on there very good. There we go. And you just spread them out. I'm just going to lay them in my pan here. Now what I'm going to be using for the uh, uh, marinade is some Lowry's uh, teriyaki and pineapple juice marinade. And that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, we was in the store and I, I, I usually make my own marinade uh, when I do the uh, shrimp on the grill. But Mrs. Scoggett saw this and she said, oh, uh, teriyaki, that, that sounds pretty good. Uh, why don't you make some uh, of the teriyaki kind? And I told her, I said, I'll go ahead and uh, do that if you want me to. And she said, why, sure. Sealed for my protection. So nobody tampers with the marinade. See if I can pull this off. Boy, they sure make, this is childproof. Now what I'm going to do with this marinade is I'm just going to pour it over the shrimp just like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and let, let that sit uh, like that in the refrigerator for about uh, 30 minutes. And after about 15 minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm just going to turn this over the other way, like that, so that they get all good in mar uh, all this marinade. And something else, what I what I want to do is, uh, of course, I'm going to go ahead and cover this with a piece of foil, and then just put it in the fridge. And I'll have a, uh, the next video coming up, and uh, it'll more than likely be, a, let me see, uh, be, a, be the uh, steaks, porterhouse steaks. I'll go in detail on how I uh, prepare them, and also show uh, how I, how I uh, season, my, uh, season them up, and uh, we'll, everything will go from there. So I'm getting ready for the game, and... Uh, there goes that phone. I think so. Bill Collector. Checks in the mail. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is Scoggett. And uh, I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers. I have the next video coming up. And y'all take care.